Bam, what's happening fam? Alex here, Five Star Dog Academy. So, I got asked a uh, pretty uh, interesting question the other day, and that was, uh, Alex, can you give me five, 10 tips to be a better handler? <laughs> and uh, even though a lot came to mind, uh, I narrowed it down to uh, you know, 10 of my personal uh, quick little tips on how to improve your handling skills. So, number one, uh, I, I would say approach your dog training as a coach mentality. Okay, you guys, uh, what that means Go in there and be motivating, talking to your dog, uh, and rewarding all these positive behaviors before you start going in and reprimanding them with your corrections. Uh, number two, I would say what well, my mentor told to me, and that was, Alex, you gotta be more entertaining than the dirt. <laughs> uh, and what, that, well, what I mean by that is, be exciting, be fun to be around. You know, create a little bit of engagement in your in your beginning of your obedience routine. Uh, make sure your dog knows it's fun to be around you. We're going to be doing some cool things. Um, so with that, you guys use your voice. Good job, good girl. Yeah, be motivating. You know, I know with them. Some dogs get a little too excited. So if your dog is one of those who gets super excited and enjoys the sound of your voice, slow it down a little bit. Good heel. Good job, Cody. Nice job. Good heel. And it's your use your your vocal tones um, in order to control your dog. Number three on my list is uh, dog individuality. You know, don't compare the, the dog you're working or you're training at that particular time with dogs you've had in the past. They have their own separate own separate personalities with their own strengths and their weaknesses. And your job is there just to guide them. Next on my list is being patient. Now, your emotions are gonna travel down the leash. Make sure you guys are, are being patient with your dog there and understanding if it's a young puppy, treat them like a puppy. If it's a young adult, you know, treat them like a young adult. Always keeping your training sessions interactive and progressing your dog and adding new challenges to your training sessions. Next on my list is being firm but fair. What that means is making your the crime fit the punishment, you know, with your dog as far as corrections go into play. We can't expect change in our dog's behavior without matching our consequences. Number six on my list is staying consistent. Now, not only you as a handler being consistent with your rewards and what's allowed and not allowed, but the whole family. And so what that means is if you're not allowed on my couch, then you're not allowed on my couch. If you're not allowed to jump on me, you're not allowed to jump on grandma, mom, or however. All the rules are black and white, and the inner one in the family is staying consistent. Number seven on my list is mastering your training system. You know, just mastering your training system. In our training system, we work in markers. So mastering your five words in our language is gonna be key for you. The first word is ready, yes, good, no, and okay. Or those are our five words. Next on my list are for all our perch protection and working dogs. And I would say just standing strong. And what I mean by that is make sure your, your knees are nice and bent, your hands are in your pocket here with the leash, your dog is out there pushing and barking forward, giving the decoy a nice uh, perimeter and boundary to be working your dog safely. And make sure you're praising your dog and rewarding your dog for performing the actions that you want him to do. So if he's here and he's barking, good job, good job, Cody, good bark, good. Because then for the bite, good bite, good job, good boy, and so forth. Number nine on my list is being prepared. And what I mean by that is, say if you're going out and about and you're traveling with your dog or you're training at the house, you have all his water, his water bowls, uh, his crate, all your leashes, your collars, um, you know, your treats, your balls, your tug toys, all your motivating and training tools you have with you, got with you, you should be bringing with you um, in a small backpack or a duffel bag. It'll definitely make your training experience a lot more easy and enjoyable as well as for your dog. So number 10 on my list, is never stop learning and never stop growing. So as you as a handler, progress yourself, bring, bring the inner dog trainer out of you, get comfortable with your training system, master your training system, and continue going out there and learning and challenging yourself and as well as your dogs. All right, so that's my top 10 picks on how to be a better handler. Hope that you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, always feel free to reach on out. Until then, happy training. I'll talk to you later. Peace.